Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, today we are looking at another ABKT, American Buffalo Knife and Tool Knife. This is the Cattleman's Cutlery Rosewood Stockyard Trapper. <laughs> Long name. Long name for sure. Of course, you've got the CC for the Cattleman's Cutlery there on the knife. And just so happens that this is our traditional pocket knives affiliation knife for the month of May. So you know what that means. Get that comment in there. Just might do some good for you. But let's take a look at it. Uh, the reason I picked out this one was because of those rosewood handles. Um, really wanted to get an up-close look at it. Got some really nice grain structure in it. I mean, you've got these bolster, you got the bolsters. And then you've got kind of this center piece there with the CC Cattleman's Cutlery going on. Uh, pins are very well done. Absolutely. Uh, very, very... Those are pretty darn flush. Your transitions, I can feel this transition right here just so ever so slightly. Uh, these are pretty good on the bolsters as well. Whoops, I'm pushing that all over the place, aren't I? There we go. Now, the one thing I did notice on this one is there is a little bit of gapping right up here um, in the spring. So, a little bit, not too bad, but, you know, always trying to, you know, look out for stuff like that. Not too bad. It's a little bit there. Now, it is a standard two-bladed trapper. As you can see, you've definitely got your nail neck pulls. You've got your clip point. It's got Cattleman's Cutlery there. And let's see. There you go. There's the number. CC, a bunch of zeros. 2R, W2. Sure, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is definitely made in China as well. You've also got, whoops, you've also got, oh, where'd it go? There it is. Kind of, it's kind of hidden a little bit behind that clip point, but you do have a nail nick on that spay blade as well. I've seen a few of these Cattleman's Cutlery. Have not had one of these rosewood ones yet, but really just kind of wanted to. That's got some nice grain in it. Now these blades are three CR13, so definitely not a super steel. I get it, but I am digging the rosewood. That is my favorite part of this knife and just the overall look really uh, it's kind of a cool looking knife and, and that's why i wanted to check it out so what do we got overall well overall you're looking at a closed length of just over three and a whoa guess i better put it over there where you can see it just over three and a half actually four inches excuse me just over four inches almost four and a quarter four and an eighth we'll call it now your clip point blade you're looking at right about three right about three and a quarter right in there uh with a cutting edge just shy of three as you can see there then you're looking at no half stops spring is okay definitely the pull is good the clothes i mean it's not super snappy but there again, you're looking at about three and a quarter on the spay with about the same three inch cutting edge on this bay blade now no half stop let's see this one not a bad snap i'd say the pull on the clip that's a good five five and a half it's not bad the spay i would say about the same again guys i am not i am not a not a knife expert this is kind of just trial and error for me uh from what i've learned listening to guys talk and stuff yeah, I'd say that's probably about a five, five and a half. Right in there. It's not too bad. But like I said, no half stops on these. Let's see the open. Watch. Don't try this at home, kids. See, it doesn't snap. There it goes. Got to be careful. Doesn't quite have that super snap, but it's not bad. Let's get a weight on it. See what it weighs overall. Three point seven ounces, so not too bad. Obviously, no clip, so carry in. I mean, you're gonna pocket drop it, you're gonna slip carry it, whatever you choose to do. Maybe even uh, have a holster, you know, on your belt. Get a sheath for your belt and carry it that way. Uh, definitely a lot of options when it comes to these slip joints as well. I don't know. Tell me what you think about the rosewood. They have several different options, actually. Um, not only do they have the rosewood. But they have, oh, let's see. Let's look at it. I'll tell you here. 
we could, we, I kind of blew through that one, but what else do you have there? Um, well, in the, in, oh, let's see, come on, where's that? It's coming here. There you go. In the Rosewood, you have the Stockyard Stockman. You have the Trapper, as we see here. You also have a Farrier's Knife, which is kind of cool. you got that clip point blade, and then you have a hoof pick, And then you also have the Folding Lockback, which is serrated, half serrated, partially serrated. I have had one of the Zebra Wood models in. Now, that one, if you remember, was a little bit... I don't think there was quite as much gapping on that that one was pretty good so you know coming in at 25 bucks 3cr 13 it's not bad um not as good as i've seen some rough riders and definitely not as bad as i've seen some 80 dollar case knives you know i that's that's just the way it is i've seen some rough riders 12 15 dollar rough riders that have zero gapping and i've seen case knives well you know my you know my rust lock story, and if you don't, go watch my case rust lock video series because that was just a mess. This, I can tell you right now, this knife right here looks better than my case rust lock did after, after warranty work. Well, you know what? Since I hate it so much, I mean, since I'm just talking about it, there you go. That's after warranty work. I mean, look how wonky that is. And I know you're gonna. Some of you are gonna say, "Oh, that doesn't look bad." Um, it's better than what it was, and the blade is actually centered now. So they did take care of that. I love that. But uh, this twenty-five dollar knife in the back spring looks much better than this. God, I think pretty sure that Rustlock runs seventy-five, eighty bucks. So we were just talking about it on RJ's live this week. As a matter of fact, this past Sunday. Um, and you know, call me nitpicky, whatever, but for 80 bucks, I want better than that. Let's just be honest. So, but like I said, guys, this is your affiliation knife for the month of May from traditional pocket knives. Leave that comment down below. You will get a chance to win this knife. I just let these videos run for a few days and then I pick a winner. Um, there's no deadline. There's no nothing. And I think I'm probably going to do that with all the rest of my videos because with work and stuff like that, I'll draw when I can. So there you go. Um, uh, yeah, there was an issue with that recently. But anyway, um, I'll just draw when I can. I'm not going to tell you when it's going to close or anything like that. I'm just going to do it. And winners will be winners, right? We all like winning. Absolutely. So there you go, guys. Tell me what you think of the Cattleman's Cutlery Sage Bush. Oh, here we go. Cattleman's Cutlery Rosewood Stockyard Trapper in, that's the wall, it's in Rosewood, so there you go. Stockyard Trapper, this one is. So, thanks a lot, guys. Really, really appreciate you stopping by. Oh, and as always, guys, when I do give these knives away, they're, they're U.S. address only. Got to throw that out there because, yeah, U.S. address only. So, get your comment down below. You might win yourself a nice little knife here, Rosewood Cattleman's Cutlery trapper thanks guys always appreciate you like subscribe leave me that comment you know i love talking to you until next time i'll talk to you later guys bye bye